everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums and welcome to Old Plus New 2022. This is a new collaboration I'm in. The cool thing about this is it really works for my lifestyle. It is uh, videos posted on the 5, so on the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, etc. All the collaborators are linked below, so check them out. There will be a special Spotlight collaboration member each month, so see what they did. And there is going to be a theme. But don't forget that you also can join the hop by using the hashtag. Everyone is welcome. I mean, the whole purpose of this is about sharing creative joy and inspiration. And that's what I hope to do for you today. This is using some old things from my stash and making them up in a new way. So let me show you what I'm going to start with. And this is the old component. Uh, last year I took an online class and it was making a little folder. There was these three different size papers and it was talking about doing more mixed media and I'm just trying to expand my horizons. I never finished taking the class. I don't know, had all the time in the world and I just never did. Um, so I have these pieces left over. So I'm going to sort of go back to what I remember. I don't know if I can access that class anymore online, but trying to add texture in different colors. But I mean, it sort of looks like cool tie dye, doesn't it? And this I, I did by taking a, um, a stamp and I dipped it just in water and put it onto these. And these are a mix of Distress Oxides and Distress Ink. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start with that. And then also, I have this fabulous collection of pre-made mini albums. I've made them. Um, and I'm going to take one of these. You know, sometimes if I'm doing a tutorial, I have to do a second mini album to um to do the tutorial for whatever reason it may not have showed up on camera this is a good size so i think i might take this mini mini album and use these papers and make something out of that so i'm going to put on the camera and um, probably speed you through it but show you exactly what it is I end up making with these old things. So I'm going through my stash and I had this, um, these embossed shapes I used in uh, another collaboration. And this one was sort of a tie dye look, so that matched. Now I am taking some of my inks and showing you how I did the blending to the best of my knowledge. I realize as I'm looking at this, I didn't blend them in that well, but you know, it doesn't matter because once you get done with all the spritzing of the water and adding different texture, and speaking of, I was trying to blot these so it didn't look like sharp edges. I ended up not using it because it just looked like a muddy mess, but you know, how would you know unless you try? Um, but there is a part on there that I did end up using. So I also take some stamps and uh, here I'm taking some embossing uh, fluid, adding a little water to it so it stays a little wet. Now I'm taking one of the stamps, mixing it with that just to get a little texture to it. This ends up being my front cover. Um, it, you can't really, you can't see it. I covered most of it up, but that's how you play and figure out what to do. So here I am putting the paper on the front cover. I am so sorry that I am down below. I'm just putting a little purple on the edges. And, and really, I'm just playing around. I'm just covering up the mini album, trying to figure out where that would go the best, and just playing around. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about myself while you're watching this process. So, and I'm so thrilled that Toby, Fitty Penny, asked me to be on this collaboration just because she's always so inspiring to me. She always does cool stuff and always has such a positive vibe. Um, and, and that was one of the reasons why I did this, this book. And the theme this month is love or encouragement. And I decided to go more encouragement route 
just trying to just send out some happiness into the world. Um, so a little bit about me. So I live and craft and travel in my RV. Right now we're stationed in Florida. I would tell you it's warm, but it's really not at night. It's gotten down to the low 30s. But I'm still very fortunate at the end of February, I will be hitting the road again and traveling to the West Coast. So don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. And I talk a little bit about my travels, but not overwhelming. Here I'm making a um, hinge system for this little mini album, junk journal, whatever it is. I normally don't make it out of colored paper. I usually either stick with black or white. But, you know, I'm ready to do something different. I wanted something bright and colorful. And I had this in my scrap pile, so why not? So I am putting it on to this little mini album. And then I'm going to take some plain cardstock. And I think they are going to measure about three and an eighth. So I took six and a quarter inch by the height was, I think, four and um, three quarters. And I make little pages, just folders, and I attach it to the hinge. You'll see it in a second. I took three of the um, folders and added them, and then one I just sort of attached two pieces together. Here I'm putting on the back cover, and yeah, I saw I got glue on it, but it's no big deal. I'm going to cover this with my decorative paper. Here's the back cover. Easy schmeasy. All right, now I'm taking the paper and just trying to figure out am I going to put the paper my my tie-dye paper on and then I realized now I really should put it on a background so here I'm grabbing the background pieces and I put them all in a pile and measure measure twice uh, I write down the measurements because I will forget it in going from my work surface to my paper cutter which is less than a foot away it's over there, sorry, you see me in my flannels because it's cold. Measuring again. So those are the three pieces that um, I will fold. These are the two pieces that I'm going to score one and cut it down and add the other one to it. You know, it. you can make it up as you go. There is nothing wrong with that. So see that pink one, that is a folder. I am scoring the other pieces and making folders out of them. Yeah, one is a scrap. I had something written on it. And then I take it and put some glue on the edge in the bottom and fold down the hinge. And that is my page. I could make this a pocket because it's open on the top, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have any extra stuff to put in. But you could if you wanted to. You could certainly add in tags or something in this kind of thing. I don't have a tutorial on this per se. I mean, the whole purpose of this collaboration is, is to inspire you. And I am hoping to inspire you with the bright colors and the different textures and just using what's in your stash and your scrap bin and just having fun. Just doing something that makes you smile. So now I'm taking some of my uh, pieces of paper and I'm going to start playing with them. I am going to stamp or um, or just add whatever to them. I'm looking at it thinking, okay, can I add it to the page just the way it is? And then I say no. So this one um, embellishment is from P13. It's a real thin wooden embellishment. I realized I didn't have any stencils and I wanted to do sort of a stencil-y thing. But you know what? This will work. So I'm grabbing my little Dollar Tree makeup brush and just adding a little bit of this purple to it. And look at that. Isn't that fabulous? And then I'm going to add some purple to the top of it and burnish it. And I add some texture to a, a piece so you get the positive and the negative. Now obviously you can see these are Dollar Tree rub-ons and they add a different kind of texture. I, I like that writing. I'm just adding some of it. I don't want it to be perfect. I realize some more came on it that I didn't want to, but you know, who cares? It's okay. It'll work. I like that XOXO. I'm going to add a little bit. There is this little, um, the three leaves I liked on the bottom here. 
So I added that. Then I'm being neat, put everything back and put it back in my little drawer. I will do a studio tour one of these days. I'm hoping by the end of January to do it because people want to know how it is I can craft in my RV. Um, I, am, I, I am the luckiest girl in the world that I have a craft room in my RV. It is heaven. I travel the country with my best friend, my husband, and we get to see great people and I get to craft. So, I mean, what can be better than that? So anyhow, um, back to my little adding texture. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. All right, so here's a brand new stamp pad I haven't even opened. Oh, here's an embossing folder. I take, I was gonna use the blue and the black, but I take the Distress Oxide and rub it onto the raised part of the embossing folder. And then I add a little bit of blue and here's some green. And I just use that as sort of a stamp to add some more texture to these two pieces. And with this Distress Oxide, I, I wanted to clean it. So I spritzed some water in and just took my little toothbrush and made sure it was clean. All right, now I'm taking, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm taking this little clay pot and flower and I just wanna make just a planter. So I try to stamp with some water, but it doesn't do too much. So I take a paintbrush and rub it in and still I mean, you can see it lightens it up a lot, but I'm too impatient. I guess I should have blotted it. And then I take black ink and stamp the little flowers on it. Now, I go back in later. I might not even have it on this video, but I go and use just a Sharpie and add some definition to it. So there's that little, little planter. And then I have this other little piece. What am I looking for? Eh. Okay, that piece. I spritz it with water. And here I'm blotting it. I, I get smart. And then I'm also going to take another stamp. And I'm going to add some stamping onto this piece of tie-dye looking paper. I put a piece of paper under it. These have all these mandalas of different sizes. And I put some on the edge, some in the middle. Just try to get a couple different sizes on there. Some are first generation stamping and some are not. But I like the look of it. Now I end up not using this full sheet. I have to cut some off, but that's okay. There was a piece, uh, some ink on there, so I just took another one of the stamps and uh, added it over, added the manila over it, and I wrote Keep Smiling, or stamped it. Now I'm taking some turquoise distress ink and doing XOXO because that is what's on the page. Just to add again, more texture, more dimension, more color. Here I'm stamping Be the Good. That's a nice inspiring sentiment. And this one says, choose happy. And look at that paper. How can you not choose happy with that paper? Here I am with this one textured orange and yellow. Oh, this. So this, I cut those little diamonds out of fun foam and glued them on, and it's sort of like a harlequin pattern. So I'm spritzing it with water, and then I am going to, I already stamped some, but I'm gonna do some more on the side. Just making my own stamps. Came out real messy. So I take my paintbrush, and I just, uh, just define the areas a little better so you can see the little diamonds on here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Blotchy is okay. But isn't that a great technique? You can just cut anything out of fun foam, put it on a piece of chipboard, and make your own stamps. Maybe use your Cricut if you need to. All right, and I am going to stamp on this one, I'm trying to figure out what orientation. Beautiful, inside and out, which is great for anybody. Work for this book. I thought it was beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. 
I had some flowers from, I couldn't tell you what stamp sets because I put everything, I, I don't save the original containers if they're bulky, but I'm using Purple Distress and I was going to do it a second time, but then decided to use a different flower. I love how that purple is on the red and pink section. This one I put down a little just to add some interest and then do a second generation stamp in the corner there, which I end up cutting it off, but you never know. I know I'm smart and I'm cleaning it before the ink dries. All right, I am adding some paper to this little book to make it so you can use it as a journal. I had this one piece with Life is a Beautiful Ride and I want it to be uh, three inches so I turn it over and measure uh, probably three and an eighth. Fold it and burnish it and then I add paper. I fold that also and the the part of the paper, it's smaller than I wanted it to be. So I decide, well, that red line is going to have to stay at least on one section. So I fold it, I burnish it. I'll go ahead and grab a stapler. I realize I'm not really in fast motion here, but I will be in just a second. But anyhow, I make some little um, books to journal on. So now I'm putting that paper in the book, stapling it. I cut off the excess, and I know it's just got half a piece, but I just go ahead and put that in the book on one of my pages. Here I've just figured out where I need to fold it. I love that one piece, don't you? So I fold some colorful paper to put in for that, staple it, glue it on. And I make the first page is going to be just a little pocket that says be the good. I use a scrap piece for the background and then glue that on. And I don't like to have words opposite each other. So where this life is a beautiful ride, I'll put something plain on the opposite side. That choose happy, I just loved it, didn't want to cut it down, so I put it on the back page and then take some of the another leftover sheet and put it on the corresponding page. You'll see a walkthrough. I will show you that in just a second. And we're just about done. Let's do the walkthrough. So here we are. This is a mini album, traveler's, well, not really a traveler's notebook, a journal, junk journal maybe. Um, I made it so you can spread positive vibes to people. Uh, it measures three and a half by five, and it's about an inch and a quarter. And so here is this uh, little doily, or whatever you want to call it. And hello, sunshine. There is the front cover. The first page is this Be the Good Pocket, and it says Keep Smiling. And this is just blank, but you could write something on here and give it to someone. And... I'll let them write something on here and give that to someone else. So the next page is, this is the back of it, and here's the front of this little notebook I made, just, you know, about 12 or 15 pages. This is that little diamond uh, stamp that I made. I think that came out fabulous, don't you? So a couple of pages to write in, and then this is where I glued it on to my base page, and here's that little um, pot with the flower growing on it and you can see I, I just inked, it just drew some lines on it with my sharpie. Here is our creativity feeds the soul and there is a corresponding blank page and this has colorful paper in it to draw or write notes or books you want to read or other thoughts that you've had. Seek adventure every day is a good way to end that. And then on this page, some more of that mandala paper that I had cut. And life is a beautiful ride. So I just put some wheels. I didn't want to put bikes on it, although that was part of the stamp set. Just sort of leaving it to your imagination. There is a plain page, and then here is some more paper for writing. 
here's the back of that and that just helps hold it in as well and then here is a blank page again you could write something on here if you wanted to don't remember how I did this I think I had um, I know I don't have stencils had something it could have been something in the kitchen and I just took my uh, fine tip marker and just colored some of it and I'm ending with choose happy because why wouldn't you want to end with choose happy and doesn't this look like tie-dye I mean fabulous this was just something I was playing around with and I thought that would be a good way to end it so there is my little notebook so there is my old plus new 2022 not only were the materials old and new but the techniques I used some were old to me and some were new to me I mean really mixed media to me is just playing just playing around with things that you have and techniques that you know and new materials that you've received and techniques that you want to try out so much fun so much fun now the other thing is I'd love to give this away if you know um if there's someone in your life that you feel needs just a little ray of sunshine let me know and I will be happy to send it I will send it anonym anonymously unless you would like me to put a note in there from you saying I thought of you and I saw this and I just wanted you to have that or you even if you feel like you want just a little burst of sunshine in your life let me know and I will be happy to put that out so put in the comments I will do a picker if I need to if there's more than one person that wants it thank you so much for watching and thank you Toby from Biddy Penny uh, for the idea of doing this I look forward to doing more in the future I have so many fun ideas and I am inspired by everybody you have in this collab so thanks again everyone have a fabulous day